Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video we'll learn how to add a guest access feature to your app using Firebase Authentication. Before we begin, I want to give a little bit of background. I personally think that every app should have some sort of try as guest functionality so that your users can test out the app and see if they like it before committing to registering with an email and password. When you ask your users to register with an email and password, you're asking them to give up a little bit of personal information. And so you should allow them to test out the app to see if it's worth giving up that information for your app. To help demonstrate this, I'm going to look at two apps, these ones here on my iPhone called TripCast and Vent. First, if I open up the App Store into the TripCast page, I can see that this app is some sort of travel logging app, and it looks really cool from these screenshots, but when I open up the app and go to the home page and click Get Started, my only options are to create an account or sign in. And I personally would like to test out the app first to see if I like it before I go through the trouble of creating a brand new account. So I decided not to use this app. The second app I want to demonstrate is this one called Vent, which allows you to log your vehicle maintenance and your mileage and things like that. And we can see that we come to this first page and we have the ability to log in or try as a guest. So when I click on that, I get logged in and it says you are logged in as a guest, please register to save your data. However, it will allow me to add vehicles and do whatever I would normally be able to do with a normal account, but as a guest. And if I click register, it brings me to the registration page. And once I've created my account, all of my data gets saved. Using Firebase authentication, this type of functionality is extremely easy and should take you not more than 10 to 15 minutes to implement in your app. So let's begin. What I have here is a basic Firebase authentication app which allows us to log in using an email and password. And the screen that it brings us to shows us the currently logged in user's UID. It allows us to look at this user's favorite animal which I have stored in my Firebase database underneath the users slash UID slash favorite animal node. And we can change the favorite animal by clicking save favorite animal. And you can see that it gets updated there. And we have a logout button. The first thing we need to do in order to enable guest access is to go into our Firebase authentication console under the sign in method tab. And we need to enable anonymous authentication. So I'll click on this and switch the enable button and save. Now we will add a button to our login screen that allows users to log in as guests. So in the login screen, I'll add a button here called try as guest and the on press will be this dot on try as guest press which we will implement up here and in order to log in as a guest all we need to do is type firebase dot auth dot sign in anonymously and this does return a promise so you can add a dot then if you'd like to I don't think that's necessary for me, so we're going to save and try that out. Now when I click try as guest, you can see that it navigates us to the main page and it has a user ID starting with ERV. And if we come over to our Firebase authentication console and refresh, we can see that we now have an anonymous user with this user ID. We can save a favorite animal for this user. Let's type cat and click save. And if we come over to the database console, we can see that we now have an additional user node with a favorite animal of cat. I recommend displaying some sort of banner to the user to indicate that they are signed in as a guest and after they exit the app, their data may get lost. So let's go into the test screen and add a banner telling them that they are signed in as a guest. So we'll add a function here, render logged in as guest. And the way that you check whether a user is signed in as a guest or not is you call firebase.auth.currentuser.isanonymous. And this is a Boolean that will return true if they are signed in as a guest. So let's put an if statement here. And if we'll say if they are not anonymous, then we'll just return a blank view. But if they are anonymous, we're going to return a view with some text that says, you are signed in as a guest. Please create an account 
to save your data. And down here we will render that. Okay, we see that it says you are signed in as a guest. Please create an account to save your data. I'm going to move this up to the top. And as you can see, when I log out and I log back in as a normal user, we don't get that banner. And since we've logged out and logged in as a new user, it's now impossible for us to get back to that original anonymous user. So that's why it's important to notify the user that they're logged in as a guest and encourage them to create an account before exiting so that we can save their data. Let's now allow guest users the ability to create an account so that they can log in with an email and password later and access their data. So once again, I'm going to click try as guest and you see we're brought to a screen with a user ID starting with HV2. If we come over to the Firebase Authentication Console and refresh, we can see that we now have two anonymous users, and here's the one that we just created. We can set this user's favorite animal to dog and click Save Favorite Animal. And if we come over to the Firebase Database Console, we see that we now have saved dog as this user's favorite animal. Up here in the banner, we're going to add a button called Create Account. And the on press will be this dot on create account press, which we will implement right here. And for the sake of convenience for this video, I'm going to hard code the email and password. Normally, you would want to bring the users to a new page that allows them to type in their own email and password. But for now, I'm going to create an email that is c at gmail.com and the password will be all c's. Now, in order to link the guest account to this new email and password account, we must first generate a credential. So I'll create a credential by calling firebase.auth.emailauthprovider.credential and passing in the email and password. And then to link the account, we will call firebase.auth.currentuser.link and retrieve data with credential. And we pass in the credential. And this returns a promise, so you could do a dot then if you wanted to, but I won't do that for this. So let's save and refresh. Now I will click Create Account. And if we come over to the Firebase authentication console, you'll see now that we have the user with HV2 is now listed as c at gmail.com and the provider is email rather than anonymous. And we can log out of the application and log back in using the c at gmail.com email that we created. And as you can see, our data was retrieved. The favorite animal was dog. And we can change this to giraffe and click save and if we come over to the database we see that everything has been updated correctly so that's all there is to allowing guest access to your apps using firebase authentication as you can see it's extremely easy it's just a couple of extra functions you need to write and by implementing this in your app you're really taking it a step further this is a functionality that not a lot of apps offer and I think your users will really appreciate it. Thanks for watching the video.